just taking a little stroll around half of my tree lawn to see what the insects are doing right now. It just rained. My plants are happy. Look at that. Butterfly milkweed grown from seed this past winter and it has flowers despite what the naysayers say in the first year we got some world milkweed right there we got our little blue stem those will be turning a silvery blue sometime this month perhaps We got pussy toes. Also planted some seed this year. Get out of here, yellow jacket. Okay, sometimes we gotta check the yellow jackets. It landed on my phone. I don't know if it's mad because it wants to be in the video, but no yellow jacket. Chinese dianthus. That's not native. Waiting to see what that is. I'm hoping that it is a native carex, but we'll see. It's starting to rain. We got Verbena hostata, also grown from seed this past summer. Rubecchia herta, also known as Black Eyed Susan, also grown from seed in their flowering in their first year we got some bumblebees okay i'm gonna have to leave i'm getting rained in too much i'm trying to do my my earthing what's up bumble what are you doing hey bumble the big one Alright. Oh, look at that. That is Penstemon Beard Tongue. Cultivar is Dark Towers. It's seeded by itself from my other one back there in the background with those beautiful burgundy seed heads. Alright, let's get the uh, garbage out of my yard. Alright. Now there are some more native carrots that just appeared by itself. Lovely, lovely. I do have a name in my phone. What's up, Bumble? Got another bumblebee. I'm not sure what kind of bumblebee that is, but I hope it is the rusty patched bumblebee, which is an endangered species in America. Native to America also. We've got our purple echinacea, AKA coneflower, also native. Look at those seed heads. That plant doesn't care about what people say either. It's gonna bloom the first year. Oh, the leaves look so yummy. It looks like you can eat it. The deer eat it, little busters. All right, we got some coreopsis. Lance leaved Coryopsis, also grown from seed over the winter, blooming in its first year. We got all of those, what I used to think were flies, but now I know better. That is a bee. Hello, bee. Looking like a fly. We got our yarrow. A couple different colors there. I do not, those are not native, but they are not invasive, and they're beautiful. The brown ones are spent and I'm gonna leave them because they have seeds in them and the birds wanna eat them. Beautiful rock. That is a sedum in the middle. I forget which one. I moved that from somewhere else. One might have thought it was dead by the appearance of it, but it is not. And I'm gonna leave it there. We got our sage, which is Coming somewhat of a thug in my yard. 
or Coryopsis. Down there we got our sedum. Starting to bloom. It blooms all the way through fall. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's already gorgeous. That's look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plant. World milkweed. Another one grown from seed over the winter. That doesn't care what people say because it's blooming. Hello, bloom. We got some aster. The deer like to trim these down and I have no problem with it. We have purple flowers. That one doesn't have as many as this other one over here. Oh, got some butterflies. Some butterfly action. I forgot what that white one is called. Oh, oh, the camera missed it. There was just some skippers. I think they were trying to mate. This is what the asters flowers look like. They will bloom all the way through fall. Where you going, butterfly? Where you going? Okay. I don't see you anymore. Oh, here's here you go. Oh. My new little gates I put up to try to keep the dogs from stomping on my plants. Hey, butterfly milkweed. Where you going, butterfly? You like that sage over there, huh? Oh, and look at this one. It's done blooming, but this is another verbena native to here. I did not plant this, but the earth did. And I'm so happy. There's his cousin, the other purple one back there. Look at all those pollinators. Oh, but now I don't have to buy this. I'm gonna collect the seeds and grow some more. There's another two of them actually. But for whatever reason, they are much narrower than the other one. Beautiful, beautiful. The flowers are not done with these yet. It looks like a native bumblebee over there. The fur is white instead of yellow. Let's see it. What's up, little bee? What's up, bumble? He's really getting at it. Well, it, it actually looks a little yellow. It looks a little white, though, too. See the little yellow piece on his booty part? That's why I think it's a... I don't know. Gotta figure that out. There's a bigger one. What's up, Bumble? Are you a rusty patched bee? Got some blanket flying over here. Also native. This bad boy been blooming ever since it poked its head out the ground. And look, it just keeps making more and more. That hasn't, those haven't even bloomed yet. I got some more seeds for this one. I'm gonna be planting these everywhere. They just bloom the whole entire season. It's amazing. I saw these for sale like for $17 at Home Depot. What's up, Bumble? What are you doing? Hey, Bumble. Oh. All right. Leave you alone. Let you get your pollen. Handle your pollen business. Got me some, some pavers that I found in the backyard. Some more yarrow. Some little baby verbena has no for verbena stricta. That's what these are. The little ones are verbena stricta, the ones that I grew from seeds. The big one is verbena hastata. I'm pretty sure this is an aster. I think the deer stepped in here and like demolished it. I had to pull a big chunk out. Huh. I see a yellow jacket. That's probably the same one that landed on my phone. That's a mean yellow jacket. But the bumblebees are nice. Hey, Bumble. I'm not gonna pet you though. What you doing, Bumble? Oh, there's a skipper. What's up, skipper? Oh, he was shy. That's okay. Bye. Look at that beautiful bean footage. Oh, some more pussy toes. 
these will grow into a mass. Hopefully by next year, we'll see. Anywhere from six feet to eight inches wide. They're already going outward into clumps. They were only like one set of leaves when I first planted them. Also grew from seeds. And those will have flowers next year. Some of them have flowers already this year. Again, dismissing what people say. They don't care what people say. They do whatever they want. Oh, let me show you this too. Basically, for the most part, this side is the same as the other side. But these are uh, Threadleaf Coreopsis. Oh, I saw some more skippers. Okay. What we got over here? Some Chinese miscanthus that just won't die. Ah, we're going to put that in a plastic garbage bag and make sure it dies. I replaced my invasive Chinese miscanthus grass with Panicum virgatum, which is also known as switchgrass. It is a native clumping grass. Put that instead. We got some thyme down there. Boy, it smells delicious, too. We have uh, Artesnia, Silver Mound back there, looking like a fluffy green cloud. Little baby one I put down there this year. In front of the stone. A little walk path. One is for a person, and the other one is for a, a frog. Even though they don't, they don't show themselves. But in case they come over, got a stepping stone for it. Some more sedum. This is stone crop sedum. I see some pollinators on here. Another bee that, that I used to think was a fly. It's not a fly. There's a lot of them on there. I think those are sweat bees. Got some speed well behind there. Oh, there goes a wasp. What's up, mean wasp? That wasp, it doesn't look like it has a stinger. Oh, yes, it does. I see it. All right. What's up, Bumble? That Bumble is big. Okay, get away from me. They trying to make me leave. I'm not scared of you, Bumblebees. I heard most of you, most of you don't even have stingers. So, they just want to buzz and make me scared. Hey, look at that. Stone Crop Angelina propagated all of those some more stone crop sedum I forgot which one this is this is blood something I see a bee down there trying to get some pollen looks like a honey bee some more aster then we got some black mondo grass I can't wait for that to be mature and big it's going to be Gorgeous. Got some white marble rocks inspired by Paws Yard. That is some aster too. I'm contemplating whether I want to keep it. That aster was originally over here as well, but it didn't make it this year. And this is blue eye grass that the earth gifted me. Have beautiful purple flowers in the spring. Some some hens and chicks. I love it. Basically, have the same thing over here. I forgot about the uh, New Zealand carrots. Beautiful. More stone crop. More bees. More speed well. Some more thyme. We've got some chives. That's the uh, Millennium cultivar right there. They are seeding themselves everywhere, and I'm okay with it. Put a little gate right there so the dogs would uh, stop jumping on my plants. We put some um, butterfly weed in front of that switch grass. That's right there. And that is a tree that I dug out. And I kept it for decoration. Plus, the bees like to live in it. And I think it's beautiful. Butterfly weed planted in front of my switchgrass. 
some balloon flower, which is mostly teetered out. It would keep going more if I would have continued to dig it, but had too many plans to plant this year. I've, I've decided to forego all the deadheading. Did not do all the deadheading on my sage either. But they still grow new flowers, so it doesn't matter. But because I didn't deadhead, that may have a lot to do with why they're seeding all over my yard also. I widened this bed this year because I was tired of cutting my carrots with the lawnmower. Planted some verbena stripped up that are still small. They come from the same seeds that those purple ones that I got over there came from, but I planted these much later in the season. And there's that beautiful Pinstamen Beard's Tongue, Dark Towers. And got a, over a hundred little babies of these in the backyard. And there's my Chives Millennium. Cultivar gave some of these to mommy, put them on her porch. My little trees that I planted a few years ago. They're still little, but that's okay. They'll get big one day. Looks like somebody's dog urine got a hold of that plant, but that's okay. It's still surviving, and I also see a little baby over there. Got some sweet William. Seems to always do bad over here. There was one on the other side of that. I think I'll replace those with flocks next year. We'll see. But we have our Anise Hyssop. Another native gorgeous plant. That's not even in flower and it still looks like it's flowering. But it isn't. They were a bright velvety purple when they flowered before. I will leave these up all winter long because they're gorgeous. All winter long. We got some native cardinal flower. It's a cultivar. Scientists turned the flowers pink instead of red. And they're gorgeous. And they're one of the hummingbird's favorite plants, if not the favorite plant. Mm -hmm. It's a native annual. Flea bane. The earth gave me that. I didn't plant it, but I sure didn't kill it. There goes our Baptisia Australis. That bright green petal or leaves that you see. That's going to be beautiful next year. Baptisia Australis. Got some more chives. 